Well, hello everyone, my name is Dave Strong and I'm a woodwind specialist with Schmidt Music and today we're going to talk about how to put a clarinet together. Now when you first open that case, you're going to see a lot of stuff and it can be really overwhelming at first. I know it was for me, I kept almost putting things together backwards and it once you learn it, it's pretty easy, but it is uh, easy to accidentally do some stuff wrong at first. So let's go through the parts of the clarinet that are in the case and how to put them together. So first of all, let's talk about how the pieces go together. If you look at each piece of a clarinet, it's going to have a little bit of cork right there. And that cork's what gets a vacuum seal between all the parts, and it's just held together by friction. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that it slides easily. So in your case, you should have something that looks like this. There's different brands and different types, but any kind of cork grease. It'll either look like this, or it can look like a little tube where you squeeze it out. Either way, all you want to do is take a little bit of it, and a little bit goes a long way, so you don't have to go crazy, and just put a little bit on each piece of cork there. And that's going to go for both ends of this top joint here, and then the bottom end of this bottom joint. And you'll see why they're the top and bottom joint in a second. And so each one of those, and the same thing with the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is going to have a little cork, so we'll put a little cork grease on that. Again, not too much. It can get a little messy if you put a lot on there, so just a little bit, just enough to help it go, uh, and go together smoothly. So once we're all cork greased on all our corks, we're ready to put stuff together. So we have the top joint here. You can see it's the top joint because it has cork on the top and the bottom, whereas the bottom joint just has cork on the bottom and they'll be right down here. So if we're holding those two like this, we're gonna put these two parts together and be very careful not to squeeze. A lot of these parts could easily bend. And when we're putting it together, these two things, it's hard to see right here, but there's a little overlap right there. And we want the top joint part to go over the bottom joint part. So as I slide these together, it goes just like that. Now this, if you have any questions, reach out to me. That's the trickiest part right there. Once you get that part together, the rest of the clarinet's pretty easy to put together. So top joint, bottom joint. The next thing I'll grab is this part here. This is the bell. Yours is probably gonna have a ring on the bottom. I've got a really old one that doesn't have a ring on the bottom, but same thing. And when you push it together, just twist it a little bit. And twisting it like that makes it easier than if I just push straight on. If I pull straight away, it's hard to pull it apart, but if I turn it while I pull it, it moves really easily. So there we go. The next part, is this goofy looking thing right here. This is the barrel. So this is gonna sit right on the top here. And same thing, we twist as we put on together. We've got the barrel on. Now we're starting to look like we have most of a clarinet here. So, so far, so good. The next part we have here is the mouthpiece. So this is what's gonna sit with the reed and vibrate and make the sound for us. So that's gonna go right on the top there. Again, just nice and gently turn it. If it's going on really tricky, it might at first. When you get a brand new clarinet, those corks are gonna be brand new, they'll be dry. Don't force it, just go back, put a little more cork grease and give it another shot. The next thing you'll have is your ligature. Now I've got this interesting looking nylon one. Yours is probably gonna be made out of plastic or there's some uh, fabric ones, but it'll have a couple screws in there and we just put it on the, on the mouthpiece like that. Yours will probably have the screws on the bottom. I don't have one of those here, but You'll know if you put it on wrong because it just, it won't really go on right. Like if I go backwards, it's just going to sit weird. It should sit all the way down and fit it like a glove there. If it is a little tight, you can always loosen the screws. And the final part, the final part is the reed. So this little piece of bamboo cane here is really the, one of the key parts of the instrument. You'll want to make sure it looks like this. It's not all broken or chipped or cracked or any of that kind of stuff. And it'll have a rounded side and a flat side. We'll take the flat side and we'll put it under the ligature there. And we'll want to line up. You'll see that the tip of the reed and the tip of the mouthpiece have a similar shape. We'll want to line those up together, make sure the ligature is in a good spot, and then we'll just tighten the screws a little bit. Now, we don't want to tighten it way too much. It just has to be enough to hold it. You don't really want to be cranking down so it's holding it super tough. Um, just enough so that it holds it on there. And there we go. We have an assembled clarinet ready to play. So in our next video, we're going to talk about how to get that first note out on this thing that we just put together. So we'll see you in the next video. Again, if you have any other questions, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to help. I'd be happy to talk you through this stuff. But otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.